Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the paper plot from week three of uh, ENAV Lab. Um, and that's when the first time we've done new course to avoid. So really, I'm going to concentrate on target one. I'm not going to solve these other for these other vessels. We did that last week. But if you're interested in just seeing the key, you want to make sure that you got the, uh, the answers there. That's the key for, uh, for all the vessels. And I'm only really going to be doing target one. Okay. So that being said, let's get started. Okay. So, um, we've got our, uh, um, uh, targets here, R and M. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and connect my, uh, RMs to get my relative motion line. All right. And I can see right off the bat that this target, target one, has got a CPA of zero or near zero, okay? And not only that, that vessel is on our starboard bow. So um, I'm going to have to do something to uh, uh, open that CPA up. So uh, over here, this is uh, no relative motion. That vessel, same course and speed. I don't even need to think about it. Uh, in this case, I'm going zero, zero, zero at 20 knots. That's uh, uh, two miles and six minutes. I can see right here that this vessel up here is probably not a vessel at all. If it is, it's dead in the water anyway, because um, their relative motion is in this direction. And I can see that that distance is about the same as that distance. So they're dead in the water. So I really don't nearly need, uh, I can already see that that's a special case as well, but their CPA is going to be about three miles or dead in the water. I'm not really worried about them. Um, target three, however, okay. Wow. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Hey, that looks like a CPA of near zero thing though is they're on my port side so uh, they're going to be the vessel that should get out of our way so this is a special situation here we've got complication um, you know we got this vessel that we're going to alter for this vessel is supposed to alter for us um, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on them and make sure they do what they need to do but this is the one that I'm mostly concerned about and if we look at the speed of relative motion here by the way you can see that uh, that was about two miles and six minutes this here is two, that's like three miles in six minutes. This one's probably going to happen before that one anyway. So when I alter my course for this vessel, it's probably going to make that better too. So I'm going to concentrate on this one now. I'm not going to worry about any of the other ones, okay? So uh, um, for this example, because I just want to show you how to do the new course to avoid. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my, uh, there's my heading line. I'm going zero, zero, zero and 20 knots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plot E. Okay. Now remember for this paper plot, things are slightly out of order. You would have plotted R, you would have plotted your E, six minutes later, you would have come back and got your M. So we're doing this slightly out of order, but that was just to reduce your workload for this particular assignment. Okay. We gave you the R's and M's. All right. So I got something like that and I'm going to measure, since I'm making 20 knots in six minutes, I'm going to go two miles. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to put that there and E is going to be right there. All right, so that's E, and that makes this E to M, okay? And uh, that's that right there, okay? So I can draw that in, all right? And I can come down here, all right? And I can get there. Uh, I don't know if you notice right now, but uh, I'm using the thin black line, and it looks to me like that vessel's course is about 242 or so, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and write in here that this guy is going 242, okay? And the CPA is zero. If I want to get the time of the CPA, well, I know that that's six minutes right there. I could create a proportion if I want to measure the whole distance and compare that to the measure and distance in six minutes. But I think it's faster just to kind of walk it down and it's going to be accurate enough. So I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to go, that's another six minutes. That's another six minutes, and that's another six minutes. So that was six, 12, 18, 24. I'm going to take off two. I'm going to say that's about uh, 22 minutes. That's the CPA. Vessels, uh, remember EM is them. That was their direction. ER is our. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to answer that one since we're here. All right. So I measure that distance in six minutes. So I'm going to multiply whatever that distance is by 10. That looks to me about 1.6. So they should be making about 16 knots or so, okay? All right, and uh, all right, that's good. So, all right, now, here we go. Uh, this CPA is not good. It's zero or very close to zero. My plot might be a little off. It's gonna be, you know, 
anywhere between zero and half a mile. It's too close because it seems like the captain wants us to have a CPA of two miles to all vessels. Now, the other thing is that we got information from the master of the vessel that, oh, you know what? Uh, when you when that vessel is uh, five and a half miles away from us along the relative motion line, that's two, four, five, five and a half is going to be right around there, actually. The captain wants us to alter course to make a CPA of two miles. So this MX is the point of execution. MX, the point of, ex point of execution. And in this case, it's where we're going to alter course. So the question becomes, what course? What course should we alter to that will create a CPA of two miles when the vessel's five and a half miles away? So first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to get five and a half miles exactly on there. So here's my five. There's a half. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I go like this. So as not to be confused, I think... Uh, with the with the time of CPA, I think I'm going to erase that. I'm just going to do that again. All right. So, okay, great. So this is MX right here. Okay, and that's about uh, 12 minutes along the old relative motion line. Okay, so uh, 12 minutes after R, the vessel will be five and a half miles away. I'm going to make a course change. And I want to make a course change. By the way, we're on 12-mile scale. Okay, so uh, this is two miles there. So now <clears throat> I'm going to connect MX to my two mile ring. Now I got two choices. I can go like this or I can go like this. Now I'm going to alter course. The vessel is going to pass ahead of me. Therefore, as I draw my line, it has to go through my heading line. If it goes through my heading line, that means they're going to pass ahead of me, which is what's going to happen. All right. So here we go. All right. So I'm going to do this. Come like this. All right. And I'm going to draw my new... This is my new relative motion line. Okay, this is my old relative motion line. It is not satisfactory. Zero CPA. I want to create a new relative motion line that's going to give, give us two miles CPA. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this new relative motion line and I'm going to put it into my old triangle. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to hop from MX to M. So I'm going to take my line here. All right, and if I want to, I can, you know, do that. All right, and I'll bring this up and I'm gonna bring it to M. I'm gonna put my pencil down first. I'm gently sliding my triangle up against my pencil. All right, and, oh, I wiggled everything. All right, all right, so here we go. I got my pencil right there. All right, so I brought the new relative motion line up into the old triangle now. There is still some information in this, in the, in this. I brought this up to here because, you know, they're not going to change their course or speed. So this leg here is still valid. And, you know, this was my motion. I'm just going to erase this little extra bit here. E to R is R, right? Okay. E to R is R. That was the direction of that was our course and the length of that was our speed. Well, our speed is going to remain the same. The direction is going to change though. And obviously I'm going to change course to starboard. So I'm going to take, since I already plotted this thing, I'm just going to go ahead and take the length, because I know that's 2 miles and 6 minutes for 20 knots. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to swing it over, and I'm going to find the intersection of the new relative motion line. Okay? And this, I'm going to label R prime. All right? And then this is going to represent the new course that I should steer. All right? So uh, let's see. I'm going to get this... Uh, like that, all right, and uh, let's see here. I'll make that little, oh, I got to flip my triangle around here. I'm, I'm bumping into my camera. You can't see that, but my triangle was hitting my cam the base of my camera right there. Okay, great. All right, so this is the new relative motion line. Um, excuse me. This is the new, uh, this line represents my new true motion. Okay, 20 knots. If I go in this direction, though, I'm going to create that new CPA. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that down to the center, and I'm going to get that new direction that I should steer, my new course. All right, so I'm going to come here, get that. I'm going to come here, bring that down there, and it looks like I should steer about 214 or 215. Okay, um, uh, excuse me, uh, but you know what? That's reciprocal. I want to go in that direction, 
okay? So my relative motion line is in that direction, but I'm going in that direction. So I just made a little mistake. It might be easy for you to make it. I'm glad I made it and I caught it, okay? So this is the new direction that I'm going, E to R, not R, E to R prime, not R prime to E. So let me go ahead and do that again, all right? And I'll bring that over here. And it looks like we should steer about 0.35, okay? So the new course to avoid or the new course to alter is 0.35. That's what I need to be doing, okay? Um, now, uh, if when the vessel is five and a half miles, I alter course to 0.35, I'm going to create a new relative motion line that will give me a CPA of two miles on that vessel. That's good stuff. Okay. Now I can answer this question. What's the new direction of relative motion? Well, that's this. Okay. So I could take this, you know, I can go back and I can figure that out. I'll put that. Oh gosh. All right. I put that there. All right. And I go like this and I bring it in and I go like this. Okay. And right there. Okay. It looks to me like that's two, two, five, two, two, six. That's the new direction of relative motion. Okay. Good enough. Now, What's the new speed of relative motion? Okay, well, relative motion, I gotta go to a relative motion line, okay? So I'm gonna go to the new relative motion line. And that's this guy, but I'm gonna do it up here. So relative motion is always R to M, okay? But this is the new relative motion line, which is gonna be R prime to M. So here you go, you ready? There's R prime. Right there, there's M. So I'm going to measure the distance between those two. I'll bring that over here. And that to me looks like 3.4 miles in six minutes. Well, that makes a new speed of relative motion of 34 knots. All right. So now the last question is what is the new time of CPA? All right. Now I didn't figure, we, I think uh, we figured out the old time of CPA following this relative motion line. We said it was you know, 6, 12, 18, 24 minus 2 is 22. But the thing is, is that this is not the CPA anymore. The CPA is now going to be right here, okay? So it turns out that I'm going to follow the old relative motion line until MX, and then I'm going to alter course, and I'm going to have a new relative motion line. So this one has a, so for this leg, I'm going to use the old relative motion speed, and from here to there, I'm going to use the new relative motion speed. To say that again, from R to MX, I'll use RM, okay? I'm going to use that for my relative motion, okay? And from MX to the new CPA, I'm going to use my new relative motion, R prime to M. So we already figured out that R to M was 6, and that was 6 times 2, I think it was 6. And so that was 12 minutes. It's 12 minutes to MX. Well, to go from MX to, to, uh, to the CPA, I'm going to use this distance as my, uh, for my relative motion, all right? And I think we already said that was 3.4 miles. So now, so that is 12 minutes to there. Now, this is going to be another six minutes, and that is another six minutes. So that is six, that's 12. Well, that looks to me like that's about, I don't know, six, uh, six, 12. That looks to be about nine minutes. So it's 12 minutes to here and nine minutes to there. The new time to CPA, okay, is going to be 12 plus nine, which uh, I believe is 21 minutes, okay? And that is how we do that.